hope you're doing well welcome back to another video this is my april update for the brick aka les mis by victor hugo um i'm reading one chapter a day throughout the whole year and this series just has spoilers from what i've read in that month so it's currently the 15th so this is sort of like a two week update i did actually miss two days um about a week ago um the first because i just didn't get home in time to read it um i could have read it earlier in the day obviously but i didn't and then the next day i just was not really feeling the best so i didn't read it but i caught up uh but now <laughs> yesterday i didn't read the that day's one so it's not going the best but like obviously i've missed three days out of already for three and a half months so i'm i'm not that pressed by it like i i thought i was gonna miss out days anyway so beside the point i'm gonna try and get back on track today but anyway so we left it at the end of the battle of waterloo that chapter was just so long and drawn out but um we came on to the talking about the ship Orion and um I'm just gonna, just gonna try and remember what I read <laughs> I've sort of forgotten some bits already but here goes so this part starts with the like recounting the recapture of Jean Valjean and like these two different like, news news articles about how he was viewed one saying that how like, he brought prosperity to the town and um like tried to help people and then he was recaptured and um how he had like a uh, like a stash of money but like he won't tell where it is and then the other one was saying how like he changed himself he tried to like disguise and contrive to become the mayor and that he had like a like a like a mistress sort of like prostitute woman that he like used and um and now he's like he's gonna like take the secret to where the money like to his grave and something like that um yeah and then afterwards it talks about this um this story in a town of montfermeil um i don't know if i'm pronouncing it right that's where the fernandez live with cassette um and it's talking about this um sort of like this myth like legend of this like devil that um some people see in like the woods and um it's sort of like a hunched over figure and like if you s it's like three different outcomes it's either like if you go up to them you can share the winnings or something like the gold that he's like planting but you die like in a week another one is that you just look and then you die in a month i think or the other one is that you just sort of like walk straight past and then you die in a year i'm not sure if that's entirely true but it's something like that it's like this weird like um like a not a myth like a i don't know old wives tale sort of i don't know what it is but anyway that but it's talking about this um this guy that was a i want to say a farmer but he might not have been a farmer but he saw like this like character person walking into the forest um with like a like a bag or something and maybe like a shovel but then afterwards after he doesn't see them so he's like was that this sort of like devil figure person but i was thinking no i don't think it is i think it was valjean hiding the money maybe i'm not sure but it could be um but yeah anyway afterwards we go a little bit later to um it's talking about the ship orion and it's how it's like it came into like the dock somewhere to get um like re-plastered and like you know made pretty again and stuff before it went out traveling um and they had convicts working on it and at one point um this like a crew member or something was on the mast and like he like fell or something so he was like hanging off sort of like in the water like nearly about to fall in the water but like no one was like going to do anything because they was like well if i try i'll probably you know fall or we might both fall or what so it was just sort of everyone was just sort of like looking like you're gonna fall you're gonna die time's ticking uh but a convict comes up and um like because like he's really strong and he's able to get down and like pull the person up but then whilst he is um sort of like trying to get up himself he falls into the water and then like 
basically disappears and like they can't find them at all anywhere um and then a little bit later the news report comes out and it says that the like what happened and this convict that died was john valjean okay and then i think it was a little bit later not that not that long after i think that events and it's talking about the town of montfermeil and like the water problem and the like the, the town and the different residents and stuff and the Fernandez there like inn and like tavern and we get like more backstory of the monster and the mademoiselle the white the, the mama the the, the 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 couple basically um also they had they already had two girls but they had another baby boy and the mum like doesn't care for him at all and it's still just talking about them and how the woman is so like disliking of cassette and is such like a horrible like person to her um and the the guy is like he doesn't really care i feel like he's more just like just use her for you know whatever but like he doesn't he do, he's not like actively vindictive and nasty whereas the woman is but yeah so these people come it's like around christmas time and um they're like the, these rich ones well not really rich per se but like there was like traders on there and it's talking about how like the people need wine but the horses need water and the water sort of runs out so um the mademoiselle then the air tells cassette to go and get some water from like a stream or something like in the woods so she's eight at the time by the way and um you you just sort of get a more idea of like how like she's so like bedraggled and she's and like she's really small and skinny and and um like doesn't have like proper like clothing and things uh but she's made to go out like travel quite a long way um past like all through the town past like the like the way that it gets more sparse and then into like the forest area anyway so she's like going on her track she gets the water um and then she's like just slowly like getting back like she's only moving it a little bit each time because it's like a really like big heavy bucket and she's like weak and cold and like she got water on her hands so she's like really freezing now anyway so she stops for a bit and then this character comes up to her this like old man not old per se but like a man in like a yellow like sort of like dracky and he looks a bit more like run downish and he offers to help her carry the water they sort of talk it and he asks her what her name is, and she's like i'm cassette and he's like oh <gasps> he's shook her sort of but anyway um so they go back and um he says to the fan of that he wants like a room and they're like well they're in a room because like look at you you look poor, you ain't gonna give us money. Uh, but he's just like, oh, well, I'll pay for a room, but can I just sleep in your barn or something? So, like, fine. Um, and there's a little bit more talking and stuff, and um, he's able to see, like, the horrible treatment and how there's a big divide between her and the actual daughters, um, even though they're, like, obviously caring for her and there's um like it's just the sort of like things are happening but it's not really that important to the story and like he buys her like a doll and he like says that like all the socks that she's knitting i will buy them off her off of you so she's working for me now just for a little bit of time so she can go and play because she wanted to play with a doll and stuff um but yeah a little bit afterwards so they go to sleep and stuff and then in the morning um the mademoiselle is like like do you want to have her like do you want to take this girl because she just she hates her and he she also hated the fact that like this guy came into like their sort of like home environment and was sort of blatantly showing the injustice and mistreatment of this child um so yeah and then afterwards he's like okay yeah i'll take her and i've already paid you enough because like you've charged me so much more than like what is actually does like what actually the price is and what you'll charge other people i don't know why maybe like you just think i'm like secretly rich or you're just like absolute meanies and oh my god she's such a meanie like the way she's calling this little eight-year-old child like a slut and stuff i'm like mademoiselle 
I got some mouth on you. Like, no, nah, you're, you're so nasty. No, no, thank you. Go away. Um, but then the guy, the monsieur, comes and he's like, I already owe so much money or something from something or other. Like, you can have her if you give me more money. And he's like, fine, I'll give you 15,000 sals, I think that's what it is. Um, or francs. Anyway, and then they walk off. But then the guy is like talking and he's like, I could have rinsed him for so much more. So he goes back and he's like, I, I love this child. She's she like, I'm going to miss her so much. Um, at, and I'm going to take her back and you're going to have this like small amount of money. I used to find out who the real guardian should be now knowing that um, Fantine is dead. Um, so the man in the yellow coat is like okay i have a piece of paper that shows um that is signed by fantine i am to be the carer of her child um i've already given you a lot more than you actually owe bye bye um and then they're sort of walking and then the the, the friend the neighbor is like following them sort of a bit but then afterwards they sort of like he gets he get he knows like he's like being followed and he looks back and he's just like you know what it's probably not worth it so he just goes back and then it the, what uh, what I've got up to is just like it ends with like them and they get to I think they're going towards hot they they're going towards Paris um and like they're eating and stuff and she gets she gets tired because like they've had like a long exhausting day um and yeah so it's it's looking good at the moment oh and also i forgot um a little bit before um yeah the reappearance of number something jean valjean had not died the man in yellow coat was jean valjean he has come to get fantine's daughter and that is basically how we've ended at the moment so Let's see what happens for the rest of the month. I'm enjoying it more so now. Now we've got past the barrel. Um, I'm intrigued. So yeah, I'll give you an update. Maybe in a week. I don't know. See ya. Now the end of the month. But I read the final, you know, three chapters. Um, I did actually miss two more days, which is a bit annoying, but whatever um i just you know been busier with other things um but i have caught back up um and let's talk about what's happened so we ended it with um sort of like cassette and jean valjean you know walking off um and then it sort of like talks about this this old um gorbo tenement or something which is a sort of like a building in suburbs of paris um and then Jean Valjean and Cassette um they sort of like move in there um I don't know how long they're there for um, it seems like okay um there's like an older woman that lives there as well um and it just it's just talking about like things that aren't really that important to the story I don't feel but um yeah and how sort of Valjean is still a bit like scared of like getting caught and stuff so he sort of like mostly goes out at night and is a bit like you know secretive in a way um and then he talks about how he sort of like gives money to this like beggar man that's on the side of the road and then one time he goes and um he sees that like the person looks a bit different um and he gives some money and then the person looks up and he's like you look a bit like javert so he's like a bit taken aback and then he goes away and then afterwards i think it's either the same night or maybe the next day or something um there's sort of like a like a like a door like a footsteps not for there's like shadows of like door feet by the door um and he's sort of thinking like is someone listening in on me and i don't know how but he tell he thinks that like he sees the shape of java like in the shadow or something um but anyway, and then the next day he asked a woman that sort of like runs the place if a like someone new like has moved in and she says someone has um and um then he's sort of like he's a bit worried or something. I don't fully get like how he sort of like makes the connection, but um 
he suspects this person is Javert and like he's come to you know get him back or something so like late that day they they leave the residence um him and Cassette and they're sort of walking away and he like they hide in like it's sort of a bit like a chase but like they go in both quite slow in a way um and they sort of hide and they see him walk past and he's like yep that's Javert he's come to get me okay I need to you know hide again um so they walk in through these streets, streets of Paris um it gets very you know detailed and things that it's just they feel that aren't that that necessary but basically they're sort of stuck because they're in like this part where if they go one way they can see someone waiting and the other way maybe there's someone else who's like oh, I remember like he can't even go back either so it's all like this little, like crossroady area bit and like it gives so much detail about this like building and like the side of the wall and how it's like caved in a bit and stuff uh but anyway blah 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 um <laughs> he sort of like climbs up um the, the wall and then pulls cassette up and they're sort of like in this sort of like garden area and then Javit is like walks along with like other men and stuff and he's like well where on earth have they gone like we've had them surrounded um it's sort of like vanish or like situation and we also get like this toll from his side as well and like his chase and like why he was like i'm so sure of it i'm gonna be like the big man i'm gonna be the one that found you know the the dead criminal um and um he was like so big up himself um so he was like i'm just gonna you know play a little game with him and make him you know feared and things but at the end of the day you didn't get him so bad luck for you love um anyway they're in this courtyard bit and then they hear some music and they're a bit like taken aback they're like wow this is weird and afterwards they hear he hears like this like jingling um oh, also like a bit before then there was, like a weird like it was sort of like scary he sort of like, went over to like the window and i think he saw sort of like a body or like something but now i get what he saw i think yeah i think he saw a nun i might be mistaken but anyway um but anyway the gardener guy who has these bells on his knees um he was the old man that valjean saved when he was madeline um under the wagon or something um and he got him a position in this garden and it's sort of like this weird convent um which we're on to now we're talking about like the convent of martin vergas i believe um and it's just talking about this convent, a lot of, you know, writing and stuff, and about this, this the place at Petit Rue Pipcas, number 62, um, about this, this convent and these women, and sort of like what they believe, and who they are and stuff, and like, I and like the way that like there's no men that are allowed in the place and even the gardener has to have like a bells on his knees so they're in this grounds of this convert basically um and that is where we've ended with april let's see what happens in may i'm losing interest a bit if i'm being completely honest um i don't know if i'm really that here for the story but i'm gonna continue because obviously i'm quite like it's nice to see like i'm quite far away through um i'm currently on page 434 not many books i've read have even been longer than what i've already read in this and i'm you know still about two thirds to go so yeah um i hope you enjoyed this update and just like learn about what's happening in the story um and be sure to come back next month um have a nice morning even night wherever you are in the world and i shall see you soon bye